and Rotherham oh, right fact, up no, at the top of the tackle charts in the Premiership this season. There's a wobbler for Thorley to deal with. Where's he going to go? Crossfield searching for space and then straightening and accelerating brilliantly. Thorley now carving back in the other direction. Lovely ball to Willie Hines. Oh. Back in business. Gloucester opening it up. Ollie Thorley, the creator. And Hines, after his long, long layoff, celebrating. It's just brilliant. Thorley initially, the ball bounces in front of him. He picks out Ratani Urawa and thinks, Hutchinson's got too far ahead of him. There's a dog leg. I can use my pace. Looks like he's run out of options, but stays alert. Hines helps him with the chat. And then Hines has got the speed to get over. Woodward in support. That's good, Paul. Yes, Wasn't going to be in a great position to assist him, so Hines thinks, I'll just do it myself. But what a break, really good awareness and good communication from that man, and he finishes it off. That's a great score. <laughs> well, it's, it's been a while for Ollie Thorley to really feel the grass beneath his feet and open up at full throttle, but we just had a little glimpse of exactly what he's all about. Support works strong. And an easy two points for Billy Twelve Trees as well. 19 points to 11, strong wind at their back. Lost the leading. Yeah, he knows what he's doing, doesn't he? Just wants to try and get that outside shoulder, but then the pass, you think he's going to back himself and go by all the way to the corner. So a really lovely inside ball. Willie Hines is thinking about his calf muscle as he receives that, because he knows he's got to turn the burner on to get to the line. <laughs> he's had a long, awkward wait. Calf and hamstring trouble. Last seen back in September. Another regather from the kickoff. The Northampton, though, struggling with that wing. Gloucester, ball almost back inside the 10 metre line. Here's a Zeke nice footwork, and the big fend as well moves in beyond the 10 metre line. The Tony Arawa in hot pursuit. And gathers it in now after the break from Naira Vora. Mitchell, Hutchinson, bigger. Opportunities here for Saints. Ludlam had to check his run, and the tackle's made by a combination of Seabrook and Thorley. Mitchell, this blind side could do with a little bit of resourcing. Rivens. Again, the tackle made by Geordie Reed. Tireless in defence. Proctor trying to wriggle his way free. Bigger, Ezekwe, nice tip on for Ratuni Arawa, it's opened up here, Atkinson's overrun it, Hutchinson darting through, fine bit of opportunism from Rory Hutchinson, Saints with the perfect response. Great patience from Saints because Gloucester were throwing everything defensively but in individual cases, players coming out of the line on their own rather than as one line and it, eventually they just pick those players off and Hutchinson Holds on to it himself, just shows to the outside, checks in front of him. But there's the fly, they beat him. Azikri does really well to get that through his hands. Rotuni Urawa just holds on long enough to create the space for Hutchinson, and he is a grateful recipient. Twice good, Thank you, Craig. The contrast between both tries actually is really good. It's players looking for body shapes of the opposition defence and then playing to the opportunity that creates. Tunia are involved both in attack and defence. Back within a single point, Northampton. Here's, here's what I mean by the body shape. If, if you look at the dummy, he sells the dummy and then he just looks at Atkinson. Look at his body shape, he knows his outside shoulder's turned, he's off balance, he's on his heels, and it's only a simple little half gap, but that creates the pace and then it's just a race against the front five, which Hutchinson's going to win every day of the week. Last all game have had a bit of a high-risk defence, players coming out, Atkinson's been coming out quite a bit. They've been getting away with it, and actually, because it's high-risk, high-reward, they've been stopping Northampton playing, but as you fatigue, as you start to get things wrong, that's when you need to actually maybe just rein it in a little bit, work together. Some changes made by Chris Boyd. Van Vaken paints are on for Waller and Hill in their front row. And Gloucester substituting... Fraser Balmain, they brought on Kieran Knight at tight head. Is Ackerman. 
working his way forward. Hutchinson did well in the tackle. 12 trees, quick ball here, Reed. Back into the traffic, back into Ludlam. Everybody stacked to the open side here for Gloucester. Huge numbers. Seabrook did well to hold on. Saints edge across in the backfield to prepare for this. A tough swirler, but it's uh, handled very effectively by Tommy Freeman. And here's Naravoro again. Calls a five from the Northampton bench. Barbara Ruskin grappling away, but no clear release before the attempt with the Jackal. Entirely natural that movement. Bigger, we'll give it territory. Just looking back at those two tries, Ali, I don't think we've ever seen both tries involve two same players. What Thorley's is doing is he knows where Ratuana is, he knows he just wants to get to his outside shoulder, but he's not really bothered about him at this point. All he's looking at is Hutchinson's body position. He's just waiting for his left shoulder to come forward and then to back off onto his heels. Once he does that, he knows he can step on the gas on the inside and it leads to the try. Really good play, just analysing what a defender's doing in front of you, reading his body language and then taking the opportunity that the hole presents. Really smart work, wasn't it? As Adendorf careers forwards and 12 threes makes the tackle. Hutchinson holds that back for bigger. That was really nice. Freeman releasing Proctor. Three men onto him, not held. Five metres out, Northampton. Bigger. Hutchinson, crossfield kick. Adendorf is after this. Nobody to touch him. Oh, that's magnificent. Worked out quite beautifully. And Saints strike twice in double quick time. Yeah, just dragging the team from one side to the next. Willie Hines on the end makes the decision to come up and try and help in the defensive line, means they've got no one in the back three. There's the initial break, Proctor does really well getting off that touchline, dragging in extra red shirts, which means they're narrow as they come back. Look at Willie Hines, what do I do? Do I come up and be part of the defensive line? That means there's no one in behind, spotted, lovely ball over the top, and Adendorf has got all the time in the world to time how he runs onto the ball and make sure he securely dots it over the line. It's a really nicely worked try from the Saints. come to life hasn't it we've come to life well you, you asked for tries Austin we've well, delivered. Craig yeah Craig went down and I don't know if people are aware of this but he, he almost won most, be most beautiful man in rugby <laughs> in recent <laughs> weeks came a close second to uh, Cosimodo um, but he went down and he, he just bagged the lads for tries and it's paid off but just looking back at that try and the break You'll, you'll hear from defensive coaches, stay connected, especially if you've got numbers, but if you watch Ollie Thorley, last man, he doesn't need to step forward, he steps forward, Bigger sees it and just chucks it across the line. That creates the space. If he stays connected there, you're numbered off one-on-one, -on -one. there's no space on the outside for Proctor, that creates the space, stay connected. So they're one away from the try bonus here, of course. Northampton now, that was their third. Charlie Chapman's on at scrum half for Willie Heinz for oh, Gloucester. Oh, another fingertip there from Rupava Ruskin, but Saints coming away with it again, and Proctor's on the ball. Full of running, and he's slipped past Kieran Knight, he's gone past Ackerman. Still not held in the tackle. Ribbons is there in support. Northampton turning up the heat. Bigger. Mitchell, there's a bit of a mix up there and the knock on, which um, is a huge disappointment after some very promising build up. Ben. Yeah, I think we've turned your I thought he could get through, but nearly gets a hand to it or, or catches it. But when he doesn't, the defence line is all at sea, and you can see they don't even know they've got the backs to the ball, they don't know which way it's coming. Proctor has been magnificent in the open spaces today the ball up, off the ground to Ribbons, but Ribbons can't just get it, get it his hands free. 
just all dies a little bit of a death here and then Rutunia Rawa tries to pick and go himself through the middle late reaching back for the ball just as Mitchell tries to take it Willie Hines off before the hour mark Try in the bag and his return a very significant you feel for Gloucester at this point certainly they'll be looking for him to marshal things through the next few weeks London Irish away Bristol at home Bath away a couple of West Country derbies in there to um, grapple with so we see Matt Garvey make way for Alex Craig kick to Gloucester, Austin? Oh, just, it's a really nice little cheeky play from Hutchinson, actually. You want some help from your centres, but this is a little bit of a helping hand for Proctor. Watch what he does. He just gives a little nudge, just takes the defender out of the way, enabling Proctor to get just off the right foot and through the gap. There's a lot of that going on across the field today. Such an effective player, great vision. <laughs> if you're a Gloucester fan, he's a cheat right now. Just really referencing the um, the multi talents <laughs> of Rory Hutchinson. Scotland feeling they can do without him at the moment as Woodward moves it forward. Fully on the ball. Chapman, Ackerman at speed across the game line. Gloucester looking effective here. Chapman again just. Stealing an extra couple of metres, 12 trees. Rapava Roskin. Chapman. Atkinson smuggles it away. Ackerman's on the ball again. Building promisingly here, Gloucester. Rapava Roskin. Thwarted by Ratuni Arawa. Man down for Northampton at the moment. Proctor's in some pain, but they've stolen back the ball. Freeman. Lovely dummy, Ackerman. Arms in the air as if to say, what on earth was that? But he's got the ball away to Hutchinson, and he's got the running here on Ludlow. Good tackle made, ultimately, by Moyle. Saints pouring forward in numbers. Bigger using the width. Matavesi, three men out wide, unmarked. Van Veik, Ardendorf. Goes around the outside and reaches in. And there's the bonus point. They've got almost the length of the field. High quality stuff from the Northampton Saints who come to life after that score from Willie Hines. A brilliant bonus point score. Proctor is the man who was down just having a check of the grounding for the TMO. Short initially, foot down there but not over the line. And that is the try try scored, isn't it? Ball on the line. Foot wasn't. But no Proctor, he's down injured, so they don't have the pace on the outside. Lovely little break from Freeman, waiting for the support to come on the outside. Times his pass perfectly, and then good cover comes across, but he gets off his wing. All those red shirts get attracted in, and it was just all about being patient from that man, Dan Bigger holding, knowing they had the pace out wide, and a superb pass from Matavesi. Yeah, front row boys throwing two wide passes. That's what rugby's about, who cares about scrums? But what was the most amazing about the break is how quickly they got the ball away from the breakdown. Look at the defence, it's all over the place. And then you've got one front rower, another front rower, and then a lovely little in and out to go over for the five. Yep, some weary Gloucester bodies jogging across to 